to thank the General Thoracic Surgical Club for this opportunity to come and discuss our data regarding preoperative chest CT scan and its capacity to predict abnormal pathology in patients undergoing thymectomy for myasthenia gravis. We have no financial disclosures to declare. Thymectomy is the therapeutic approach for myasthenia gravis patients with and without thymoma. Thymoma constitutes 20% of all mediastinal masses in adults, and a significant portion of these demonstrate extracapsular invasion. The Masayoka Koga classification describes the disease, uh, excuse me, the staging for this disease process. Uh, Dr. Detterbeck has a very thorough article delineating these stages. Um, and while the differences can be as subtle as microscopic transcapsular invasion, which uh, is described in this image of stage 2A, they have significant consequences for survival rates. Although they may not be significant for stage 1 and stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4 in comparison with stage 1 and stage 2 is significant. There are also significant consequences for recurrence rates, uh, although this may take up to 10 years to manifest. CT imaging is often used to uh, detect thymoma and also guide the mode of operation for thymectomy, and our goal for this study was to determine if preoperative CT scan on patients with myasthenia gravis predict thymoma or stage of thymoma. This was a retrospective review. There were 141 myasthenic patients who received transsternal thymectomy at UNC and 49 of these patients had their preoperative CT imaging between 1990 and 2010, and this, these were the patients for who the, whom the data is presented. The initial CT reports were reviewed, and the pathology reports post-thymectomy uh, were compared to these preoperative reports for CT. 16 of these patients had their CT images available for reevaluation by two radiologists who were blinded to the final pathology. The CT and pathology reports were classified as either atrophic, normal, hyperplastic, cystic, stage 1 thymoma, or stage greater than 1 thymoma. The 49 patients had a mean age of 38. 39% were female and 61% were male. There were 28 patients who had, uh, were clinically diagnosed as having non-thymomatous pathology on their preoperative CT scans and two of these turned out to be thymoma and pathology. 21 were clinically diagnosed as having thymoma on their CTs, and 13 of these were confirmed to be thymoma and pathology. The 26 patients who had CT interpretation of normal atrophic turned out on final pathology to include two thymoma stage one. The 19 that were interpreted by, by CT as thymoma stage one included five thymoma stage one on pathology and six thymoma greater than stage one on pathology, and this included three that were thymoma stage three. The two that were interpreted as thymoma greater than stage one on CT uh, turned out to be two thymoma stage one on final path. This table demonstrates the considerable variation between the radiographic diagnoses and the pathology diagnoses, and I'd like to call your attention to the uh, red box, and these were our thymoma cases uh, on PATH. And you can see that uh, in the area highlighted in yellow that the radiologists uh, who reevaluated uh, these 16 patients were only able to agree on the presence and stage of thymoma in one situation. Below the area highlighted, you can see a stage 1 thymoma that was completely missed by radiographic diagnoses and thought to be atrophic normal by all radiographic uh, interpretation. The positive predictive value of atrophic normal tissue is 42, was turned out to be 42%, and the positive predictive value for thymoma stage 1 was 26%. The overall positive predictive value for thymoma was 61%. These data call into question the reliability of CT in diagnosing thymic masses in patients with myasthenia gravis, and this renders uncertain the role of CT in determining optimal surgical technique. Thank you.